Number one, Chris. James Harden is finally sacrificing both financially and playing with a player who is clearly better than him in Joel Embiid by Uh re-signing with the 76ers. And then I think, too, again, part of that was this is a real opportunity for him, potentially his best situation that he's ever been in as a player. How do you look back on this one now that the Sixers are potentially going to be the two seed? He's playing with what might be the MVP, and they have a real shot at a title. I mean, I think he def- it's definitely like not peak Houston Harden anymore. So if you wanted to find sacrifices as him being that, that is definitely true. I also think that he is maybe going to make an All-NBA team and is having a really good season and should have been an all-star and all of these things. And it's like, if you're playing at that level and doing all this stuff, how much are you actually sacrificing to some degree? I, he obviously is and has given up stuff, but I think he's also, you know, going to be very well, like recognized for the season he's having in the, the way he's played. I think there's also the, the specter Brendan of what happens with the Houston stuff, you know, and does that cloud how we look at this in a couple of months? Like what happens at the end of the season for Philly and, and where Harden goes from here? I think to me, if or not, that's going to cloud how I feel about answering this question to some degree. So I would say yes. And I think this is his best situation ever. I feel good about that, but it's also, he's still, he didn't go from like being the number one banana or like a co banana in Brooklyn to like the third or fourth wheel. He is still like a co-star. He's not, he's like the, clearly the two to Embiid's one, but he's, he's not, he's still like a very, very big focal part of the team. It's like Tyrese Maxey has succeeded him in, in the pecking order in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. I love what Harden is. I, I still have a little bit of anxiety about how frequently some of these, like the, the bulls game on Monday night, Just bad shooting nights, you know, like his two point percentage is still a little bit off from where he was last year. Um, I I still feel like he turns the ball over a lot. Like he, he, I guess it's to be expected as he ages, but like he still has some of the warts in his game, not even to mention anything related to defense, which is basically non-existent Mm -hmm. and he's sort of scoring less. And so I don't know what to make of what he looks like in a game six of a playoff series. I think that there's a case to be made that doing less during the regular season, his usage is way down, might help him at least be fresher, at least be less likely to get hurt. Some of the muscle stuff and just wear and tear injuries that he's suffered in the past, the hamstring obviously kind of being the the most notable one. But I love what he's been able to do for Embiid, and I think that hasn't necessarily gotten enough attention. The Sixers are plus 9.6 per 100 possessions with Harden and Embiid both on the court. That's among the best duos in the NBA from an on-off standpoint. Embiid has the same usage as last year, same field goal attempts, basically, and yet his efficiency is way up. And almost 10% more of his made field goals, Embiid's made field goals, this year have been assisted compared to last year. I I didn't pull exactly what number of those are coming from Harden, but we can assume a lot. And so... When you kind of go backward and think about him deciding to really... He took $15 million less from what his player option was, $47 million, to what his current salary for this season became, which is thirty-two. I know he got another guaranteed year out of it, but that's still noteworthy. And to choose to stay in Philly, even back before that, to choose to get traded to Philly and ask for that, put pressure on the Nets to get him here. I do think there's something to be said for a player being self-aware enough to choose all of that and sacrifice and and do kind of what it takes to make it all work. Um, I think the obvious question still in everybody's mouth as we reevaluate this though, Chris is, is he going to stay in Philly? Cause this, this isn't going away either. And we talked about it a few weeks ago, but I feel like it, if we reevaluate it in another year and he, he jumped ship, I'm going to feel a lot worse about it. Cause I don't know why he would leave for all the reasons we just said, this is kind of perfect for him. That that's the exact question I have. It's like, does does he what what does he value? What is he looking for? What is he what is he chasing that is potentially going to come up this summer? Right? Like, I think that's that's absolutely a part of it. If he goes back to Houston and this was just like a one year sacrifice, that is very different than that. This is a multi year sacrifice for James Harden, right? Like that that is a different kind of thing he's going to be doing in that if that's the case. So. Yeah, I, I think it absolutely hangs over everything this year, and it's not totally fair to, to Philly, but like the fact that this has now been reported like a couple times by 
legit people, you know, first Woj on Christmas and then Kelly Iko and Sam Amick later in the year from the athletic, like this is, this is a thing. And if like maybe Harden at the end of his career wants something different, maybe this is like his kind of limit on what he wants to do. But I, I think it absolutely is, is part of it all to me. I, I think it changes how we can think about this. And look, the playoffs ultimately for Harden, well, this dictate I think more of this than anything else. Like, do how does how do they perform? How does he perform? Does is there a Harden game that isn't like the classic Harden kind of playoff stinker that he's had before? And does that just what does that mean? And is there a game where he really just like Embiid's really going off and he's just like I'm gonna play the assist man over and over and over again and be willing to kind of supersede in that way? I I'm curious to see that and see what that looks like and it could result if it goes all well, like this could be like, he gets his title and like, you know, the, 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 the giving in and is, is probably worth it. But like, does, what does this look like in the playoffs? I think it's still like a very open question and has a lot to say about this.